we left the Leo Wooden Resort at Narayan Pert for Hambi in the morning of 21st December 2023 after having breakfast and our host leading us in their car and we following them in ours. The hill found at a distance is believed to be the birthplace of Hanuman, which is now a pilgrim center. Though Hambi is just about 5 kilometers away from there by a boat ride, across the Tungabhadra Reservoir. We had to take the circuitous route by road with a distance of about 35 kilometers as we were driving all the way. On the way, it took us almost half an hour to overtake a large herd of cattle moving on the road. Hambi is a small village and temple town located in the town of Hospet in Karnataka. The place is often termed as the city of ruins, owing to the number of ruins that are currently located in the area. Around 1500 AD, Hambi was the capital of the well-established Vijayanagar Empire and was said to be the largest and extremely wealthy city in the world during the olden ages. History lovers will surely have a great time here as each location has an interesting story to say. As the name clearly says that Hambi is a city of ruins, that is why Hambi is declared as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in India. On your visit here, you can find many interesting and unique monuments and structures. The major attractions which entice people from all over the world include the stunning ruins and palaces and temples. When you visit these ruins, you will notice that there is so much precision and detailing that was put into making each part. With limited availability of resources during that time, they managed to build temples that still stand tall. In addition to its historical significance, Hambi is also known for its spiritual significance. It is considered a holy site by both Hindus and Jains and attracts thousands of pilgrims and tourists every year. The Hambi Bazaar, also known as Viruvaksha Bazaar, is a vibrant market area surrounded by temples and shrines. The ruins of Hambi are spread out across several kilometers and it would be difficult to reach all these spots, find parking space and see all this in one day. The most common means of local transportation in Hambi is auto rickshaws. One guide offered to accompany us in the car and to take us around or if there was no space in the car, he would accompany us on his motorbike. Either way, he would charge us 2,500 rupees. Two auto rickshaw drivers come guides offer to take us to all the places and also to explain everything at a total cost of only 2000 rupees. So we opted for the second and took the auto rickshaws after parking our cars in the common parking area. The first port we visited was the Balakrishna temple. Opposite to the Balakrishna temple, the two long rows of stalls found here were the ancient market.
the hill seen at far is known as madanga hill the balakrishna temple is known for its exquisite carvings and elegant architectural designs the king krishna devaraya was a lover of art and architecture and the temples and monuments constructed during his reign are famous for their architectural designs the main idol of the temple is that of lord balakrishna which is now on display in the state museum at chennai the temple campus is adorned with pillared halls and many small shrines this is one of the rare temples which have epics inscribed on the tower walls more or less this temple is fairly intact and stands testimony to the prosperous reign under the vijayanagara rule to the east of the temple lies a hall banana plantations are located on the right on the south side of the temple the long pavilions in the temple were initially shops on the left of the temple is a rocky landscape a leisurely stroll through these structures will lead one to the temple pond this tank is not in use anymore a leisurely walk on the west side of the temple will lead one to view a rectangular building which may formerly be used as a granary interestingly this has been built in an islamic style of architecture just behind the granary you can find a narrow passage of stairs which allows people to get to the top of the temple for a beautiful view the balakrishna temple is also among the group of monuments which is currently listed as a part of the world heritage monuments by the unesco this temple was built by the ruler krishna devaraya of the vijayanagara period in the year 1500 13 AD He erected this temple in honor of winning the battle and subsequent annexation of Utkala or the eastern reign of Udayagiri This place is currently known as Odisha Madhavi Linga Temple is a beautiful temple of Lord Shiva and one of the most visited Hampi tourist places. It lies close to the Narasimha Temple and homes to a beautiful linga carved out of a black stone. The linga is around 3 meters high and dates back to the era of the Vijayanagara Empire. This linga lies within a small stone chamber of this temple with only a single narrow opening and is without a ceiling. The pedestal is circular in shape and reflects as the yoni pitha of Lord Shiva linga. It is always in water as a canal passes through this temple. Next to the Badavi linga 
and very close to it is the Ugra Narasimha statue. Here, the figure of Lord Narasimha sits on a coil of a snake with seven heads in a yoga position. It is the biggest idol in Hambi with a height of 22 feet. This was carved by a Brahmin during Krishna Devaraya's regime. Invaders broke these idols many parts. It is believed that there must have been a temple here, though there is none at present. On the way, we saw two big rocks close to each other as if in an embrace on the roadside, which the locals call two sisters, Sita and Gita. We could see that one of the rocks had been split vertically and one section fallen in front. Pushkarnis of Hambi are sacred tanks in association with the Hambi temples. Pushkarni reminds us of ancient town planning and architectural style of the Vijayanagara era. They were constructed for drinking water collection. 